Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shawcraft One and my old barn door. And um, I just came to do a quick flip through of a new three ring binder. Sorry about the camera shake. I've got my, I've got my camera or my phone charging. Hang on, let me move the cord. Okay. So anyway, this one, um, I did the, uh, the cover today and I did the video on it. So I was just going to show you what I did to finish it. So I did this pretty, pretty fabric on the spine. And then on the back, like I said in that other video, I just did the lace. I did put some of the book page, dictionary page, and fabric scraps, or the, um, not fabric scraps pattern paper scraps and I put it underneath the lace just to kind of tone down the brightness of the colors a little bit so that is the binding of the book and I love love the cover I love how the cover turned out so let me just make sure I'm in camera good so we'll just go on in this one is big <laughs> it's very big it may not even fit all the way in in frame but we'll do our best so on the inside cover I just did some of this vintage wallpaper not wallpaper wrapping paper vintage wrapping paper and I think I got this from Kristen so pretty I love 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 this wrapping paper and it's a good thick wrapping paper so and then I put one of these pretty little pockets on the front and I made a pocket behind so it's actually three pockets. So this is a pocket, and then behind this is a pocket, and then back here is a pocket. So I just put you a couple of scriptures in there, and this is some of that really cool paper that my friend sent me when she sent me the pockets. Love, love, love this paper. Isn't that cool? So there's two pieces there. Let me just slide that back down in there. And of course, it ain't gonna slide back down in there because I'm on camera. <laughs> there we go. All right, so you got that. Then you have this pretty, um, this is from a bird field guide. So I added a couple of pages in there. Oh no, my envelope sealed. I don't know why my envelope sealed, but I'm gonna have to fix that. There we go. I don't know why I did that. Um, and inside the envelope, I just have you a pretty little recipe card. And then just a children's learning card and an index card. So just a couple of little cute things in there for you. And then on the back side of the envelope, I made a pocket. And I put a cute little, um, just a cute little journaling card, a vintage playing card. And a little scripture in there for you. This is from, um, it's called Wildflowers in America. And the uh, illustrations rem remind me a lot of the Edith Holden books. So I'll put that in there. This was actually in this book. It was uh, McCall's Cooking School book, um, recipe book or cookbook to teach you how to cook. So, I just left it in there because I thought it was super cool. And this is some of my Seven Gypsies paper. So, I added some of that in. I stinking love these banners. They're so pretty. And this, this book doesn't have really a theme. Even though it was a recipe book, I didn't do like a recipe theme per se. There are some recipes and things like that in here. But it's more of a, just a mix of everything so you can make it anything you want it to be. I love the back of this, um, the Seven Gypsies paper. So this is one of the tab dividers and I didn't put um, labels or anything. I figured I'd let you label it how you want to. So I use a little cluster on front of the doily and just put a little scripture down in there. And then behind the doily, which is a pocket, I just put you some things to play with in your book. So there's a few stickers. This is just um, extra journaling space. Another little journaling card, or you can cut this up and use it as a photo mat or to decorate in your book with. 
and then this pretty little recipe card. And I didn't do something on all of the, the dividers because I wanted you to be able to play with it and do with it what you want to do with it. This is vintage wallpaper. This is from a really, really old, old children's book from the early 1900s. Playing card. This is a photo sleeve. So you can put pictures in there. You can store things in there that you want to decorate your book with or whatever you want to do with that. Made a little. This is one of the um, recipe pages from the actual book. And so I just sewed a, a little plain card on there and put you a little flash card and then a sweet little scripture in there. Or actually, this is a quote, not a scripture. You'll see lots of sewing throughout the book. Another vintage playing card, and I just um, punched a little hole there and put some bead dangles on there. This is another page from that Wildflowers in America book. Aren't they so pretty? I love these pages. This is just, um, I sewed a couple of scraps together and then just punched a hole and put a little bow on there just for added decoration. This is an envelope I made from a children's book page. I think this book's called The Old Mother Goose or something like that. And then I just put you some extra little snippets of vintage wallpaper down in that envelope for you to play with. This was just a really, really pretty 6x6 six six sheet that one of my friends shared with me. And um, the same friend shared this with me, so I thought I would add those just... I like the way they, they look up against that yellow. So pretty. I love, love, love this yellow. And you'll see I've got lace sewn on there. Just a little journaling card. Here's another one of those recipes. And I love, love, love this fabric. I got this from Selena. Another one of those picture sleeves. Really, really old music book. So I took a few pieces and added to it. And this is a vintage playing card and I just sewed it down the side. Tucked a little scripture in there for you. This is from one of my game cards. This is another envelope made from um, a children's book page. And inside here I just have you some extra little things that you can use to decorate in your book with. And then in this really cool, I don't know if you can see it, but it's sparkly and shimmery little journaling card so these break apart so they're really cool to decorate with on your pages okay I know that closes because I had it closed before <laughs> it just don't want to cooperate because I'm on camera <laughs> and that how it always works okay this is a piece of that vintage wallpaper. I love, love, love this. And I love how it feels. You can do mixed media on here. It's got that real cool vinyl -y feel. And in the back, it just flips out. And it has one of those little um, game cards on it. This is from a different recipe book, but I kind of added in some fall Halloween themed stuff. Because it is, you know, September, so I wanted to add some of that stuff in. Look at that cute cake. Got Edith Holden Page. This is just a little file folder that I've had forever. Here's another one of the recipe pages, and I just sewed a little tuck up here, and it's just got a really, really pretty journaling card there for you, and then a scripture. Another little journaling card that I just tied a little bow on. This is another one of the recipe cards. And I sewed an envelope to the edge with a little bit of fabric. And then inside, I just have you another cute little recipe card. So, you know, it has a lot of recipe stuff, but it doesn't have to be a recipe book. But it can be a recipe book if you want it to be. So it can pretty much be whatever you want it to be. This is some of my Helen Steiner Ross book pages. Here's another one of those photo sleeves. And I just sewed it to 
this page and then I stuffed you a little extra fabric down in there love 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 these they're so stinking cute so I had to add some in here just for a little bit of quirkiness one of my quilt calendar pages so see I mean I've got all kinds of stuff quilting stuff and recipe stuff I love this it was already written on and you can see it's yellowed a little bit this is from a children's book page and I thought you could cut these up they'd make super cute little journaling cards some of my floral book pages and then this is one of the um, the journaling cards that's on the sheet in my shop so just made a pocket out of it and inside I just tucked you some extra little photo mats or journaling cards or you can decorate with them or whatever and then you get a scripture in there this is um, from a different recipe book but it shows you how to take out stains from your clothing and stuff so I just thought it was cute to add that in and then gave you some more things to decorate in your book with and then this is actually a bag that I sewed into a pocket and then if you open up the bag you have more things down in there to play with little frames and things like that to use to decorate in your book love 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 this this is um, from a book um, it's called questions children ask and it's from either the 60s or 50s but I love the colors in this book love 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 this paper and then I sewed a little pocket here and I've touched you quite a little bit of stuff in here there's a quote pretty pretty little recipe card that's a sticker these are a couple of little bookmarks um, that I found at a thrift store and then just a little journaling sheet line journaling sheet and then these are just little um, clear words or sayings Just tuck those down in there. I love stuff in the pockets full, but my journals tend to have a little bit of alligator mouth because I do stuff them so full. But once you get them and start working them, using the stuff that's stuffed in the pockets, then it it stops the alligator mouth. There's a scripture in this little tuck, and then this can be used as a photo mat or a journaling card some more of this old music another one of my quilt calendar pages and I just sewed it onto this recipe book page I made uh, this is from um, a cottage book it's about it's kind of like um, uh, I thought it was like Edith Holden books but it didn't turn out to be but it still has some really pretty images so you can actually cut these out and use them if you want to then I just tucked down a little recipe card and pretty little scripture in the little tuck here or pocket whatever you want to call it this is a pocket that I made from an old book page I just sewed it together punched the holes and decorated it with some these are Tim Holtz flowers and then inside the pocket I tucked you some more things to decorate in your journal with and then a pretty scripture and then I ruffled some fabric on the back side of that pocket another children's book page this was a um, a greeting card and I just thought it was so pretty with the flowers and the butterflies so I made a pocket out of it I sewed it in <clears throat> excuse me and made a pocket out of it and then I just tucked you a little piece of stationery and a scripture down in there some more of that fall top um, recipes and this it can be used for a tuck so this dolly onto this little package um, actually it's an envelope that I made from old book pages so I made a pocket on the front of it and I tucked in a cute little flash card and then here's another little flash card and then I tucked you a little scripture 
down in there. I don't want it to get lost down in there. <laughs> yeah, so tucked, his, tucked a little scripture down in there. Super cute. And then inside the pocket, I put you some extra of that vintage wallpaper. Some more um, little journal cards or photo mats to play with. And then one of those huge, huge recipe cards that I got from Selena. Sorry if I'm bumping the camera. I'm hitting the cord. So this is the back of that um, book page. It's from that, um, oh gosh, I'm not even, it's some kind of math or figures or something. So, so this little index card here to make a pocket and inside the pocket, I just filled it with some cute little children's playing cards, a journal card. There's an old playing card, some Monopoly stuff, and then um, a scripture. Love, love, love this page. This is from one of my children's books, and I sewed a little frame here. So I just put that down in there to show you that you can put a picture behind there or use it as a tuck. Just sewed a um, sales receipt onto this old music paper. This was actually, um, excuse me, I believe it was a little book um, to teach children how to do music another envelope and I just sewed a piece of fabric across the top and then I just stuffed it with some little playing cards children's learning cards some index cards and this is actually a little pocket that you can cut out and use in your journal excuse me I'm gonna get a drink of water sorry if you can hear the TV my husband's watching TV in the next room I just sewed this really old, old, it was a, um, like a Walt Disney, Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, little, um, children's nursery rhymes books, and it was just torn all to pieces, but I love how yellow the pages are, hopefully you can see that in the video, so I just sewed this piece, um, because the bottom was kind of torn off, and you can see here it was torn, ruffled some fabric down the side there. Some more of my Helen Steiner rice with a lace ruffle there. Love, love, love this page. And I couldn't cut it apart. And I couldn't, you know, these would make such stinking adorable envelopes or photo mats. Or they're just super adorable pages. So I left those together. This is a bag that I just folded up and sewed a little pocket in the front and I just stuffed it with a bunch of little pieces of um, the papers that I used throughout the journal. Um, so it's actually, um, it's three pockets. So you have a pocket here, a pocket here, and then a pocket behind the bag. And then I made a little tag there. This is another one of those ghost cupcakes, those recipe things for Halloween and things like that. And then I sewed a little pocket. I love, love, love this fabric. I think I got this from Selena too. So I just put a couple of scriptures in there for you. Another one of those pages from that bird field guide. This is one of my seven gypsies pages and I just absolutely love, love, love the old truck. I mean, I just love that. And I love the back side of it. You can cut this up and make, you know, journal cards with it or whatever. But I just couldn't cut the truck up. Couldn't do it. Just sewed a little pocket here. And put you um, a couple of little journaling cards, an index card, and a scripture in the pocket. This is one of my floral book pages. And I sewed a little pocket up here where the writing was and I put you uh, a couple of scriptures in there and then a sweet really cute little journaling card and this is from a children's book page and I thought it was um, cute to add in the fall pages so you can tell the colors are starting to change so I thought it was fitting for the time of the year 
um, sewed on a little pocket made out of the, um, or with the chenille that Selena sent me. And it's got a guest check, really, really pretty photo background or journaling card, whatever you want to use it for. And then an index card and a scripture. Another Helen Steiner, not Helen Steiner Ross, Edith Holden page. <laughs> Then this one, I just sewed a little bit of fabric onto the pocket. There's one of those big uh, recipe cards, an index card, and a scripture. Oh, I love how this book turned out. Look how pretty. Is that gorgeous or what? That's from a children's book. And then I have a map page here, and it's just got this little journaling card sewed on it. It says create every day. I love that. And then this is wall, um, wrapping paper, and um, I sewed it to. This was actually from a magazine that I got that I get um, occasionally from the Farm Bureau, <laughs> and so I just made a little pocket on the back side because it was just writing. There was no pictures, and I put you some frames and some extra things in here to be able to use throughout the the journal if you'd like. Love, love, love this paper. This is one of the little pockets. Um, uh, my friend Diane Hubert sent this to me in um, a love package. And she sent me these little, um, I guess they're quilt blocks or cutouts or whatever. But I made a little pocket with it. And in the pocket I stuffed uh, this cute little children's book page, a little journaling card, a sales receipt, and a scripture. Just try to give you some... Um, an eclectic mix of stuff for you to use in your journal so that you can make it whatever you want it. This is some of my vintage wallpaper and I just sewed it onto this page and made a pocket. And then what did I put in here? Okay, you have another children's book page, one of those large recipe cards from Selena, and then I just made you a little tag with some pretty lace. This lace came from Cricut. So super excited to get to use some of her stuff. And I know that she would be excited to see what I'm doing with it. Y'all, I saw the most beautiful rainbow today. And I'll tell you, every day while I was in Florida, this is from a quilt book. So, it's super pretty. So, I left it to fold out. And then I sewed a little journaling card on there. And then this is the back side. So, it's kind of a blank slate for you to be able to do whatever you want to with it and this is good thick paper but every day while I was in Florida not kidding you every single day I saw a rainbow at least once a day now how often does that happen this is a photo frame and I just stuck a little journaling card in there so I feel like Cricut is showing herself to me in rainbows because my friend Michelle is on her way from Florida to Tennessee today. Um, we're gonna do her celebration of life service at our church on Thursday. And I saw a rainbow today, shortly after I talked to Michelle on the phone and she said she was on her way. So I'm telling you, she just shows up to me at all times um, in a rainbow. I know that sounds kinda silly, but this is some vintage wallpaper. Actually, I don't know how vintage this wallpaper, not wallpaper not wallpaper wrapping paper but it's so pretty and I love 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 the colors in it so I had to add it in here so I just um, adhered it to um, this old book page and then inside the pocket I just loved this whole little embroidery book I just love it so I just put the whole little book in here and look y'all check this out this will make some of the coolest journaling pages I mean, it's a whole like, pattern, and I love that it's faded onto itself from where it's been folded up so long and aged. So, this would just really, really make a cool, cool journaling page. So, I just left the whole book because you know what? I mean, what if you want to embroider? Then you have the whole little book and the whole pack to give you the patterns and everything that you need to be able to do that. So, I don't know, I just thought that was super cute. And I'm getting ready soon to do um, a sewing journal, so I'll have lots more stuff like that. This is just a pocket that I made out of old book page, 
and I just sewed the top of it to this recipe card, stuffed in a flash card, a Monopoly card, or a Monopoly money, and a scripture. Got some more fabric ruffles. Added this for Thanksgiving because, you know, it is that time of year or getting to be that time of year. So, hopefully if you get this journal, you can use it for, you know, for some things like that. Or take these out and use them in a different journal. However you want to do it. But I just sewed some pretty paper on the edge just to add a little decoration. Love, love, love this page. So pretty. We've got some fabric sewn on the side here and then just a little topper at the top with fabric sewn up there. Just sewed a little game piece there. A <laughs> turkey gobbler cake. Super cute. Isn't that pretty? I'd like to go there, but just to visit. <laughs> and look at that. I thought that was perfect to add in for the fall season. So, sewed a little fabric up there. Got some uh, lace, shimmery lace up here. This was actually Cricut's as well. Love, love, love the colors in this. And it tells you how to do a decorative ice container. How stinking cute is that? Some more from that. Um, I, I think it's like a book about steam or something. Super heated vapors, temperature, degrees, and Fahrenheit. So, something to that nature, but I wouldn't have a clue. Then here's a Halloween themed um, recipe page that was actually in the book. So I sewed this um, glassine bag to the page and then down in the bag you have a scripture, a pretty little recipe card, and then a photo mat or a journaling card, whatever you want to use it for. This tells you how to do a Halloween party. <laughs> Uh, here's from a different recipe book, and I just sewed this pretty little journaling card on here. It says, Now is Our Time. Here's a map page, and I just sewed um, a taboo um, game piece to it. And then these were the pages, or this was one of the pages that was in the back of the book. Gives you herbs and spices, their characteristics and uses. There's some really cool information in here. So, and then this is the back of the book, and I didn't put a pocket or anything because I thought I would leave it open for you to decide what you want to do with it. So, that is my newest three ring binder journal. And I'm going to go ahead and upload the video. I'm going to take pictures of the book, get it loaded into Etsy, and so hopefully. By the time the video uploads, you'll be able to go to my Etsy and check out the journal if you like it. So, um, leave me any comments or questions that you have below. I will have all of the information as far as how many pages are in the journal, um, you know, the size of the journal, because it's a big journal. Um, this is a really big journal, so I'll have all of that information listed in the Etsy listing. So, again, if you have any comments, questions, leave them below. Hit like, hit subscribe, and thank you guys so much for watching. Y'all have a great evening. Big hugs.